arrived in London, I did almost get clobbered over the head with the guy's suitcase when I got off the train, but otherwise, unscathed. in London over. I didn't really vlog much because my phone's running out of battery and I'm in charge of the navigation so I need it for maps and I don't really want to get lost in the middle of London. We took a walk down to Leicester Square and I went to Forbidden Planet and bought some Claymore manga because I've been wanting to read it for ages. We met up with some family members and we went to this really cool place called Mission Impossible and it's just a really dark room with green lasers all over it and you literally just have to be a spy and go under and over the lasers and it's the coolest thing ever. We're going to Trafal Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar? Trafalgar Square. but I can see the theatre now. <laughs> I'm really early, like really early. <laughs> I just went to see Les Mis and then I went to stage door at the end. I jumped out of my seat and ran around as fast as I could. I got there and within like two minutes, I wasn't expecting it to happen that quickly, Carrie Hope Fletcher walks out and I scream, oh my God, she signed my copy of All I Know Now and a postcard that I got with my ticket. I was an incoherent bubble of feels lying on the floor. I'm hoping my letter was better. Oh my God, the adrenaline's still going through me. I was shaking like a leaf. It was a really horrible selfie that I took. It was, she, she looked great, but I had like my hair half across my face and my hand had been shaking like mental. Ooh. Last night was Les Mis and then we sat on a tour bus for about ten and a half hours and my gran very kindly bought more show tickets so we're going to see Charlie and Chocolate Factory now. Just trying to take a hipster video of me looking out into the sea. 